What's up everybody and welcome to a Jayco Get Em video. Today we are here at Disney California Adventure. We're here to visit Avengers Campus today. I'm super excited. It is super loud in this land. Um, right now we're just going to go and view the land for the time being. But we do have pickup times for breakfast at the new um, restaurant here. It's called Pim Tasting, uh, Pim Test Kitchens. My mistake, I almost got it mixed up with their uh, drink area. Pim test kitchen and we have some breakfast that we're going to be picking up around 10 o'clock today super exciting i can't wait to have a great day here inside the park i want you to join me and elisa this morning today join us let's go first up we're going to hit up web suppliers this is the shop the only shop that they have here in the land or i should say campus i heard it's pretty small let's go in here and find out this bag is dope. You can put the little spider bot inside of there. This spider bot right here. You could put it inside this web. This backpack is pretty freaking dope. I like this. So right here is $49.99. Nice. They have Ant-Man shells for the spiders and everything. The wasp. What was that? Black Widow. Ant-Man. Found this cool web pen only for 10 bucks in here. We're gonna add to the backpack here. It's pretty dope. Alright, what's next? I wish we were getting on the ride next, but we unfortunately did not get a boarding group this morning, so we'll have to try again at 12 p.m. Hopefully we get lucky then. But right now we're gonna to go to Shawarma Palace, see if we can actually get a breakfast burrito or breakfast shawarma, I should say, over here. Let's check it out. This land is pretty beautiful if you ask me. Can't wait to try this breakfast shawarma though. I like how they have it themed here with the Avengers. Hey, that's pretty dope. And there go Web Slingers. Well, no, that's the restroom over there and Web Slingers behind. Pretty cool land. Very small, but definitely super cool. All right, right now we're sitting at the Pim Test Kitchen dining area, designated dining area. Over here, kind of in a cut past Mission Breakout. Seems like a lot of people don't know about this location. Um, but it's here and it has a ton of seating area over here. But I'm super excited to try out this breakfast shawarma. It's impossible me. I uh, would like some egg. Oh, just I think it's just egg. The vegan um, egg option? I think. I could be wrong though. This thing is huge. You can definitely share this. I want to try it with the sauce first. This is a spicy breakfast. I'm gonna call it a burrito, but it's a shawarma. This right here is spicy. If you come here and you don't like spicy, don't dip it, just eat it regular. It's good though. 10 out of 10. I didn't get enough sauce, but it's okay. It has like a sweet, spicy uh, sauce to it. Yeah. Sweet and spicy. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. What you rate it? 11 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's really 10 good. 10. Yeah, it's good. I 
recommend this for sure. This breakfast shawarma is really good. Um, it has hash browns in it as well, along with the egg and cheese. Like I said, I don't know if it's vegan cheese and egg. I don't think so. I think it's just like a vegetarian option here. But it's super good, super spicy. My tongue is kind of on fire. Um, super good though. Like I said, I would give this a 10 out of 10 hands down. We're here at Pimp Test Kitchen to uh, pick up our breakfast that we ordered earlier. Can't wait to try it out. This place is so cool. It's extremely themed. And they have this right here where it changes size and come out smaller or bigger. It's pretty dope. Shrieking problems, grown solutions. Details on details. This is dope. Wow, look at this. Looks like pancakes, tater tots, bacon, eggs, and a sunny side up egg. So scrambled and sunny side up. It looks very tasty. I want Elisa to go first this time. Ooh, this tater tot looks good. I'm gonna try this first one. Tots, bacon, best things on this platter. It's good though. Uh, I would say 8 out of 10, just like Elisa. 8 out of 10 for sure. And just like that, it's gone. Hey, what's going on, guys? What? Oh, no, not fighting bad guys today. I'm just testing some new tech in the suit for Mr. Stark. Clear the runway. Spider Man is cleared for takeoff. Oh! So it is 12 p.m. Uh, and we did get a boarding group. But luckily, I am super happy about this just because we may be able to leave the uh, campus now and come back in when our boarding group is called. So in the time being, we're just going to wait until our uh, mobile order for our food from Pim Test Kitchen is available. Eat that in here and possibly leave the campus and come back later on uh, to experience the campus at nighttime. But I'm super happy we got a boarding pass today. Mission accomplished. <laughs> All right, now that we've got our boarding group for Web Slingers, we're gonna go hit up Mission Breakout. This is one of our favorite rides here at DCA. Cannot wait to get on this adrenaline rusher. <laughs> Nervous now. So we just got off a of mission breakout, and let me tell you, it is fun as always. Uh, that adrenaline 
it gets the pumping 100%. Uh, it gets more fun the more drops and ups that you do on the ride. It is super fun. Like I said, this is always a must do ride for us when we come here to DCA. Uh, man, babe, did you enjoy it? I did. <laughs> I, I realized that if you put your hands up, going up, it, it's more better than just resisting it. Yeah. Because if you resist it, then it just feel a little bit more scarier. Exactly. Yeah, but, just just let it just let it fling you. Just let it go. <laughs> just have fun. Let loose. Exactly. But yeah, it was it was fun. I forgot what it felt like because it's been so long mm -hmm. since we've been here at DCA. We've been to Disneyland a couple of times. So. Yeah. But it's been almost like a year and a year and a couple of months. About a year, a, a year, year for sure, yeah. A year, year, yeah. A year and like a month or two, but yeah. yeah. It's fine, I'm ready to get on Incredicoaster next. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully we can uh, hit that up today, uh, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. All right, it's time to uh, possibly go get some food. Wait, what time is it? It is Not time yet. So right. we're just gonna walk around, maybe um, catch another show. That'll be cool. And uh, wait for our food and drinks to be ready for us to pick up. So these are the drinks that we picked up at Tim's Test Lab. Um, this one right here, I do believe, is the... I can't even tell you. I think it's Experiment. One is Honey Fusion and Honey Buzz. But I don't know in which order. I think this is Experiment right here, if I'm not mistaken. And then one of the other ones is Honey Buzz and Honey Fusion. Super good. I think this one's the Honey Fusion and this one's the Honey Buzz. Or it could be the other way around. I'm not too sure. But these drinks look very appetizing. Can't wait to try them. By the way, I don't know the name of these drinks. Because uh, two of them look exactly the same. Um, so I do apologize that I won't be able to give an accurate uh, name for each one. But just trust me, they're good. We're going to tell you which ones we did get though, for sure. That one is good. Whichever that one is, that one is good. Let's try another one. I think this one is the Honey Fusion. 
This one is the Honey Fusion, I can tell you right now. And this third one we got because we did get three. That one's bomb. Hey, this is going to love that one. Hey, all of these are really solid drinks. All alcoholic drinks, by the way. I would um, rate them in the order of um, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten, literally. In a row, eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, and ten. That's, a, that's super accurate. That's the exact order? Exact order. <laughs> okay, all right. So, which, this is the... Left, left to right. I think that's honey boys. Go for okay. it. I like it. This is honey you, fusion because I, I could taste the beer. Okay. I don't want you to rate them until you rate, I mean, until you try, try all of them. Three. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so next. Okay. So you think that was honey fusion? Okay. I wasn't too sure. I know Ooh. That one's good, huh? Yeah. That one's sweeter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm not too sure if that's fusion because I thought fusion was sweeter. I think that's fusion. I think you can taste it. Isn't that gin that we taste in there? I think that's the gin. That one's experiment. <laughs> what I tell y'all, what I tell y'all. Honestly? It just gets better. <laughs> exactly. So I was what, just would you, what would you do to rating? So this is definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay. Um, this one I give it like a... I give it like a 8.5 Okay. 10, and then this one a solid 8. Okay. Because this one isn't bad and it's not too strong. It's not. Yeah, it's you, solid. Yeah, you, know, you can test the gin, but it's not bad. Yeah. But yes, yeah. I like this one. I rated it, I have rated it um, 8, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, no. What did I say? Yeah. I said 8.5. Uh -huh. And then, and then yeah. 8. But mm -hmm. this one just tops all of yeah. them. Yeah. No, I, like I already one. knew you was going to like that one. I'm like, it's mangoed mm -hmm. out. All right. So from Pim's Test Kitchen, Test Kitchen, uh, we got the not so little chicken sandwich come with the tater tots, some type of um, slaw. And sauce on it looks good and then we got the panini sandwich over here and it comes with I forget what they call this um, but of course it's healthy it's leaves and then it comes with the um, marinara sauce that's what it comes with that marinara sauce but yeah it does look good let's try it let's try the chicken first let's try the chicken first yeah try the chicken first and some sauce here we go It's good. It's not too dry. That's good. I'm gonna try with them tots that we didn't already had earlier. Should taste exactly the same. Yep. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I will say the sauce adds a little more flavor to it. Yeah. I would but assume. I would definitely like that, the fact that this is crispier. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's like wish... crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. Gotcha. That's how I'm getting it. We should have got a, they should have gave extra sauce. Should have gave extra sauce on the side with that. Maybe it had like some marinara sauce on it. Maybe it may be gone. It. it may be gone. All right, let me dig in and uh, see what's up first. What would you rate it? Um, I'll give it like a. I'll say an eight point five. Maybe about an eight point five. Yeah. Okay. Eight point five. All right. how crunchy it is. I'm gonna get one more bite with the slaw. Ah. More flavor. Without the slaw, I'm gonna give it an eight. With the slug, you get that 0.5. With the slug, you get a 1. Uh, 8.5 out of me. It's good. It's real good. Time for the panini. 
sandwich. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip it. Yeah, go ahead and dip it. Sauce is good. Yeah. I give this a nine. Out of ten. Give this a nine? Uh -huh. They're over the chicken sandwich, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. Right. I like this because I like pizza. Gotcha. All right. Let me try it out. So we went to Pim's te test kitchen and we picked up this Choco Smash candy bar. We heard nothing but great things about this particular dessert here at um, Avengers Campus. So we're going to try it out and see what the hype is all about. Let's dig in. <laughs> it's chewy like a snicker. Yeah, I think it has like partial snicker in it. Or like hash brown, I mean hash brown with brownies. It tastes just like a snicker. Yeah. Snickers don't have hash browns. Hash browns? I said brownie. I mean, brownie, it doesn't have brownie I in know. it. I know, I said it has snicker in it. It's like three or four different layers of different candies. That's good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like don't even it? eat Snickers like that, but it's good. That's good. What would you I rate it, it? I give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah. Okay. It's not too much. It's just, it all fits perfectly. Nice. Yeah. It's nice, good. nice, nice. It's so good. It will go good with some uh, vanilla ice cream, though. Ah. Too bad they're not serving that, huh? I know. Take a look at that. Looks good. Butter, Snicker. It was like Milky Way or something. It kind of tastes like Three Musketeers. All of it. I just taste Snicker. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I instantly got like a Milky Way or Three Musketeers. Maybe you taste that because you have uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what this tastes like. Yeah, this portion right here. That's crazy. That portion right there is like um, Three Musketeers or Milky Way. And then this portion right here is Snickers. And this is like Reese's. Okay. And that's brownie. brownie. Yep. Wow. It's good though. Um, definitely need some water or some type of like maybe uh, milk or water. It's good though. But we got this right here because um, we gotta go get on the ride in a few moments. So, and we, even if we wasn't getting on the ride, we would not be finishing this huge thing. This can feed like, no. maybe about four to six people. Yes. <laughs> that is too big. Huge. Yeah. Definitely share this if you do come. Make sure, you know, either sharing it or taking it home to go. Don't be afraid to ask for one of these um, to be able to take it home with you. That's good though. 10 out of 10. For sure. Here we are at Web Slingers. It is time to board, finally. It worked out perfectly though, if you ask me. 
Worldwide Engineering Brigade. That is what WEB actually stands for. If I'm sure most of you guys don't know that because I didn't know that. But it stands for Worldwide Engineering Brigade. But I keep things around here pretty chill so the kids can create the next big idea that will leave you the tools to become the next generation of heroes. We hope you have a great time on your visit to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade Open House. Oh. Peter Parker! Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. Hey, Peter. Well, you know, we got access to some pretty awesome tech, like vibranium from Wakanda, or this crazy alien juice stuff. We have pit particles and Stark tech. It all helps us develop really cool stuff, like um, like these spider bots, for example. Check it out. They have this really cool self-replicating feature. Because? Not uh, because it's awesome. Buddy, you could stop doing that now. But anyway, you guys are here today to help us test the web slayer vehicle. Peter, your spider bots are continuing to replicate and are consuming everything oh. in their path. Oh. They seem to be stuck in self replication mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. That can break down all the time. Uh oh, they're getting away. All kinds of useful tech. But because they are stuck in self replication mode, the spider bots are currently consuming everything inside and multiplying at an alarming rate. Okay, everybody, open house is canceled. Wise idea. But I could use some help. Yes, you could. Sharon, prep the Slinger vehicle. Already on it. Everyone head to the Slingers and we'll team up to stop the Spider Boss before they destroy the campus. It's easy. Okay, we have a plan. Look at those cool things. So cool. Row two for two. This is our pod right here. That's our row right there. Please move all the way into the vehicle, have a seat, and put on those web vision targeting glasses. They'll look good Woo! on you, trust me. Yeah, that's our total score. I got 207. Lisa got 179. But that's our team score right there. Man, that thing is a workout, boy. Web Slingers was dope. It was way better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I really it enjoyed it. It was a workout. It was a workout. Yeah. Yeah, but it was fun. It yeah. was. It, I didn't expect it, expect it to be like that at all. Yeah, it was dope. It was a nice workout. You know, your arms get tired. You know, he but you got to keep got to keep pulling through. He you know. Beat me. Whatever. Oh yeah, I I did win. <laughs> Not by a little bit this time. <laughs> like on um, what ride was that? That was. Uh, Barry Tiles. Oh yeah, not like Barry Tiles when it was just like a hundred. I won by a uh, hundred, <laughs> about a hundred thousand. Um, but it was fun. I, I enjoyed the workout. I enjoyed the uh, theming, the story. It was all around good. Um, uh, is it worth um, like all the boarding pass stuff? Not really, yeah. but. Um, it's a new ride, so it's, it's a new ride. It's what to be expected. Exactly, the hype is is, is there, um, but it's, that's just only because it's a new ride. But once the boarding passes are gone, I feel like a lot of people will more, uh, feel like it's more valuable and worth it at that point. But it is a good ride, and uh, I can't wait to get on it again one day.
All right, so we picked up a mobile order over here at Casino Cucamonga, and uh, this is a case of Berea right here. Comes with the little dipping juke sauce, whatever you want to call it. I've never had tacos like this. Have you? No, I've no. always wanted to try it though. Yeah, same here. And then we got the pollo um, asada. asada. Yeah, pollo asada. Thank you, because my mind would have just went straight flat just then. But yeah, um, I don't know what this is for. Maybe it's for this particular one here um i guess it's the pollo asada pour it on there yeah yeah that's good that's all right i'm good. super excited to try this one um it looks good and i'm also excited to try this one as well so let's dig in mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna uh start off with the quesa burria um it smells good you go ahead and dip it mm. Mmm. Let me give it again. But that was that good. I've never had these outside of Disneyland, so don't judge me if you've had these before and compare them to other ones. But I would give this a 10 out of 10 my first time ever tasting these, taste of burritos. Um, 10 out of 10, easily. Go ahead and dip it, dip it, dip it nice, dip it nice. I did, dip it. All right, I'm just making sure. Mm. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. Real good. I need some lime on it. Yeah, get some lime on it. I didn't do that. You didn't do it? Because they were trying to eat like you only got one line. How was it that time? Really good that time. Mm -hmm. All right. Juice is falling. Off. Yeah, I mean, they they, 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 juicy and delicious. For my first time having this, I would give it a ten out of ten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's really yeah. Good. yeah, we can't compare it to like L.A. you know street tacos, um, queso burritos, but just know that if this is your first time having queso burritos they're fire here 10 out of 10 easily good it's chicken uh you know it's bomb they got the cilantro onions and then whatever this sauce is it's good and it has uh, avocado on here as well uh, i would say i would actually get this one probably like a eight eight point five out of ten it's good though you know i definitely recommend it it's it's definitely something i would get again uh but it's just not hitting like the uh queso burrito that on there. Yeah. I don't want that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> That's spicy. Yeah, I told you it's spicy. It's no. good. I like it. The avocado with the lime. And then the onions and cilantro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Definitely good. But is it is it hitting like the uh case of Maria though? No, it's not. <laughs> so this is definitely like a ten out of ten and this is like an eight. That's solid eight, right? Eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Solid eight. Um I mean both aren't bad. They're both get good. And I, I would recommend both if mm -hmm. you like tacos like this. Yeah. Come on. If you oh, want to okay. stick with chicken, I'll get this. Get this one right here, the yeah. pollo um asada. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah if definitely. If you want to get chicken, you know. But try it it's so good it's delicious but yeah this is our ending meal of the day it sure is but yeah, I look at mickey over there <laughs> you said what you think what i think we hit it off with a bang yeah we did yeah we did Morning's no doubt mm -hmm. all right we're wrapping it up here today at dca disneyland california adventure 
it was fun. We was able to get on pretty much everything we wanted to get on, except for Soren. Um, Soren, it just has too too much of long waits. Uh, typically about 45 to 65, sometimes 75, and we can't do that for Soren. I'm sorry, um, but we were able to get on a credit coaster three times. Um, we got on. Uh, Jumping Jellyfish, we got on Goofy Sky School, we was able to get on uh, Web Slingers, um, and Mission Breakout. All of those rides are cool, even the Little Mermaid, can't forget about that. It was a fun day, very fun day. We started the day very early, got up at like 5.30 a.m., so it's time. It's time to shut it down. Um, but I do appreciate you for tuning into this video. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you are new here. And until next time, have a blessed one.